Hi there and welcome to the Shoe Rain of Drawing channel on YouTube and today I'm going to show you how to draw huskies mostly because uh, several people have asked me to draw them uh, but also because in one of my books Axel Storm Polar Peril uh, Axel Storm who's the hero of the books his, uh, he has these eight uncles that take him off on amazing adventures and, and, and in this one he goes off across the North Pole with a pack of huskies so I thought I'd show you how I draw these huskies but uh, let's not talk about it let's Let's mush. So, well, a husky has a very round kind of face. Um, let's see if we get that in there. And then draw two lines coming up from the middle and then curve them back again because they have these very sticking up kind of ears. And then you want two circles for the eyes. Wait a minute, I haven't put the... Uh, the lock on there we go now that should show up a lot but that should show up i think there we are so we um and then you want to have the nose now it's a kind of kind of a circle but it's kind of flattish on the top i can't think how to describe that then you want a line coming underneath and remember this is a cartoon okay right and then it's a, a happy husky okay <laughs> and you're going to want kind of Two fangs on the top like that, sort of joined across with the teeth. And and then the tongue is going to come out like this. You've got a little fang there, so it's coming out between its fangs. Now you want this to come up there and lick around there like a kind of a walking stick kind of thing. And another little lick around there, which will then come back on itself. Okay. And then there. Now this is of a weird shape but if you draw it again and again and again just keep drawing it like you were practicing learning to do handwriting it'll come very naturally very quickly okay and then you want to have a nice straight back and a kind of curling tail and if you imagine kind of chunky body like that and then the front leg if we bring that kind of down like that, good sturdy leg. And this is a, a, a an illustrator's tip here. Let me get that. Let me get that more in that. There, that's a bit better in there. I think that's fitting. There, that's kind of better. Um, this is kind of illustrator's tip. The things that are really hard to draw, like uh, feet and paws and things like that, hands, just don't draw them, okay? Um, and uh, we're going to want this kind of dog leg shape there. So what we're going to do is, is just put them in snow. So it's thick snow and their feet are kind of covered in the snow like that. Uh, that's kind of fitting in, isn't it? I'll just bring it down a little bit. I'm, I'm using a different camera setup, so uh, I'm kind of learning how to fit this all in at the moment. Uh, right, I'm going to use a 0.3 pen here. And I'm not drawing with straight lines. I'm drawing with kind of furry kind of hairy lines kind of wiggly squiggly hairy lines right and, that, and then I'm going to do the eyes uh, before I go all the way around and here I draw eyes that are kind of like a fat curly letter C like that and that kind of makes them look shiny and put kind of the insides of the ears up there and then around the eyes flick all the way around the eyes like it's a kind of a Catherine wheel going at a slight angle all the way around like that and then go all the way around the other way and they will that will then kind of cross hatch it so that you get a kind of a a graduated kind of marking around the eye like that so it's not too yeah what's the word I'm looking for it's not just a black blob which we will do a black blob with the nose, right? So draw that kind of shape. It's a kind of a triangle, triangle with corners, of circular corners. And they put a little circle in there and then shade all the way around. Again, that gives you a nice, wet, black, shiny nose. And again, we don't want anything too sort of firm, you know, straight line, curved, you know, sort of make it, make it hairy, okay? Right, so we'll bring a line down to that, then we'll put that tooth in, that canine tooth, and then come down and flick that up, 
flip that up and round like that and then actually let's do these top teeth like that and then that will come down don't bring this all the way down because that will make it kind of look like his tongue's been split in two uh, and there we go and then draw in the lip and then you can draw in the rest of the face this is it's also quite foxy wolfy isn't it not oh, foxy it's kind of slightly wolfy um now you want to draw this kind of quite hairy as well and then just kind of put in an effect for the tail um and again kind of scratchy hairy kind of legs so because it's their fur aren't they and bring that kind of fur down there and oh there's a dog going mad across the road i don't know if you can hear it's better than this morning when i was first going to do this video there was a power cut in town and suddenly all the <laughs> all everybody's <laughs> burglar alarms and fire alarms and things went off and so there was this bling, 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 bling. Yeah, i couldn't feel while that was going on Right, let's make sure this looks like in the snow. Uh, put a little curve there, a little curve there, and then kind of join them with another curve. Curve, curve, join them up. Curve, curve, and join them up. Curve, curve, join them up. And you put extra little kind of flicks around the back, and that should make it look like he's got his feet in the snow. And you can maybe put some other little things like that. Those are his footprints. Are they fitting in? Yeah, there we are. We'll bring him across a bit. There we are. Um, and now we need to kind of shade in. And somewhere I've got my hairdryer, which should have been ready. And I'm just doing this um, to make sure it's absolutely dry. You don't need a hairdryer. You can just go and make a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or something like that and come back when it's dry. But you don't want to erase out the pencil marks and then just kind of rub ink all over the place because it's going to spoil the drawing and you have to start again. I'm going to colour in these ears so they're going to be dark like that and then I'm going to put a line down there but you're going to kind of work the angle of the of this kind of shading so that you kind of get get a feeling for the angle of the fur as well and then having made it quite dark then you kind of flick back up into it so that it's not just a block of kind of darkness so you, it, it kind of fits in it gives you a feel for the um the furriness i suppose and then again with the the fur on the back you want him to be dark on the top and get a feel for kind of a the curviness of the body which that will do and you can do some longer ones and then you want to do some kind of shorter ones up on the top to give it the darker on the top look graduated kind of um, graduated shading really and then the tail I'm just going to just scribble in basically um. <laughs> it's just scribbling isn't it um, but this is my style <laughs> and I managed to get away with illustrating about 250 books like this so, so somebody must like it <laughs> So it's a bit of a scribble, isn't it? And you can um, put some shading in around like that. Uh, when I say I managed to get away with it, I think you ask any kind of illustrator, actually any kind of artist that's actually making a living out of it, they will all say the same thing, that they keep waiting for the art police to come and arrest them one day for, for being an imposter. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear yes uh, I think that's part of the part of the life of a, a, an artist or an illustrator or anybody anybody involved in kind of creative work <laughs> they always think they're not doing a proper job because <laughs> everybody else goes to the office and you know is 
flames away all day and, and you know it just seems like too lucky to be able to stay home and just draw all day and uh, so you know they keep thinking you know this can't be true that I'm actually allowed to do this all day and that one day that somebody's going to say stop right. you've had your you've had your luck it's all over now you've got to go and get a proper job and I think there's every artist's terrible fear is that one day they're going to have to go and do a proper job um, what should we do put some snow in like that how does that look that looks quite nice in the camera we'll put him over in the middle here well there we go if you enjoyed that <laughs> keep coming back to the shoe Rider drawing channel on youtube and uh i'll show you how to do lots and lots more drawing stuff um in the meantime keep drawing 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 practice 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 and i'll see you next time <laughs> you take care now bye bye